All right, so this is what the cat dragged in today. Uh, I paid $55 for this, and what is this, you ask? This is, you get a decent look at it, this is the Optiplex 755 Small Form Factor Desktop. Um, I wasn't going for this specific model, there's nothing special about it, it's just a uh, Core 2 Duo business machine like many others, but I saw this one on Craigslist and I wanted this particular one because A, it's small and I don't have a lot of room, you can see that I'm shooting in like my office and there's my backpack right there, and second, this one has a floppy drive, which I really need for my other project, which is either already posted or will be posted shortly. So on the front it looks very much like any other PC of its era. It's got the uh, Dell logo, model name. It has a Core 2 V Pro. This is a business system which apparently came with Windows Vista. So this is probably pretty old, but not ancient. Maybe like 07, 08. It has a slimline floppy. It looks like a full-size one. Don't be fooled, that's a slimline floppy with a big bezel and a slimline optical drive as well as uh, microphone, headphone, and two USB 2 ports. No USB 3, of course, on a machine. And where the hell is the power button? Actually, where? Oh, there it is. It's like you can't see it, but it's there. So, coming around the back now, we've got a power supply at the top. Um, you can sit this either way. So, vertically, it's at the top. We have a line out and combination line in microphone jack, switchable, I presume. Uh, I think that's gigabit ethernet. We have six USB 2 ports, which is a good thing because although we have legacy uh, parallel and serial ports, which I'm, I also want this machine for, and a VGA port, only a VGA, ew, it's sticky, only a VGA port for, for graphics, um, we have no PS2 ports, which is a little bit surprising, a little bit disappointing, but you know, you take what you can get. And we have two low-profile expansion slots, and I will show you what they look like on the inside in a moment. So this machine is a little beat up, but they are very well built, uh, very heavy. The thing about the business desktops like this is that they're they're solid. They're meant to be, you know, bashed around in service for years. And uh, unlike consumer systems that are often really hard to work on, these are designed to be maintainable by IT departments. So let's take a look inside. Like a lot of business machines, it's pretty simple. You pull the latch, side comes open. They're... All right, so now we've got a good view of the internals. As you can see, we have a slimline DVD drive with a slimline floppy underneath. This is actually the CPU cooler under here. It has a full-size three and a half inch drive, which surprises me a little. I thought it would have a, like a laptop drive. So if you can see that, we've got a PCI Express 16 and a good old PCI slot. Low profile only, really crammed up against the side of the case, wow. Non-standard, I think, floppy connector. It's like front panels and other shit in there. I will be taking that out. Just pull these in and it comes out, so that'll be easy. There are four sticks of RAM. I think this thing has four gigabytes. Um, I don't remember. But you know what, let's fire it up as is and see if it runs. Okay, so I really apologize for the angle here. But the, th the thing is, I'm really space constrained, so this is the only VGA monitor I have which is attached to my desk with a rigid arm. And uh, the tripod I'm using right now is about $6 from a thrift store and it is the world's shittiest tripod. So I've plugged in power, I've plugged in the VGA. Um, I'm just getting a keyboard right now, I hope it works with this one. And um, I have a network cable ready, but I haven't hooked it to my network just in case it has like some really nasty ransomware or something on it. Switch the input. Come on. Ah, there we go. I haven't actually heard a hard drive like that in a while. Wow, that is slow. This is a very clean system. It just has a few basic things installed. Like I said, you could you could buy this PC and just start using it. So kudos to the seller for that. Again, unfortunately, that's not what I'm going to do with it, but there you go. It's a all right, so sorry guys, I didn't film the drive removal. Uh, I didn't want to try to do it one-handed or with the shitty tripod. Um, 
getting a drive out was <laughs> this getting this part out is easy getting the drive out of this part was a, a, a little bit of a struggle um, there's two if you look here there's two you really gotta once you take it out you really gotta push down on those to release the drive so interestingly we have a cooling fan down here which cools the chipset as well as the drive so I don't want to take this caddy out and it probably won't boot without it um, my SSD is two and a half inch and obviously <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna go in there, so I'm just going to do the age-old trick of the age-old trick of simply not giving a shit. Uh, my my main concern is for the, is for the fan. I think it does rely on having a thing on top of it uh, to make the air flow the right way, but you know that covers up most of it. Let's just angle it like that, so that should be okay. And how are we gonna hold this in? You say again the age-old trick of simply not giving a flying fuck. You're holding the t roll of tape between your feet and the camera in your hand. Just stick another piece of tape in there. Quality. I don't think it's plugged in. All right, now that this machine's plugged in, let's see if it'll boot from USB. Right. Okay, well, the thing is, there is a version of Windows on the SSD and yeah it actually booted so I am going to shut down that is my oven <laughs> well we'll try this will it boot sweet oh well then so I just walked in and it fucking crashed all right, so we're gonna try uh, using a CD. I'm gonna check on my wings because they're probably like on the fire. Yeah, I know you missed the whole process. I didn't film it, but you know, there's plenty of other YouTube videos out there that show it in much greater detail. It's pretty boring. Okay, so I tried to install the video drivers, and well, it installed, but that's not supposed to happen. It's like, okay, why does it think there's a second monitor? So let's just try setting it to native and seeing. Hey, that actually worked. I mean, I can't see anything, but it worked. There's just this, you know, horrible search with this dog that can never find anything. And it's like, you want to right click on the start menu? Oh, no, fuck you. Yeah, I forgot how much XP really kind of sucked. So this works pretty well on new versions of Windows. I don't remember if it worked at all on XP. Yeah, no. Audio.ex, ah, oh, god damn. I'm drinking tea with tang and alcohol in it. So I got the POS Ready hack installed, so it should be finding updates, but it's just kind of sitting there. So you know what? Let's do what we came here to try. Do what we came here to try? I don't even know which way these go anymore. There we go. Um, I think you can still create a boot disk in XP, so let's try that. This does not sound like what I remember floppy drives sounding like. And we are done. You have to manually eject it. So I eventually figured it out and got the latest updates installed and put on some basic applications too like Firefox, Notepad++, 7-Zip, and VLC. Those are mostly my usual suspects except usually I use Chrome but Chrome's not supported on XP anymore. So I guess there we have it. I have no idea what to do with this. I basically bought it just to write floppies but it, I do have a few ideas that I might do and if you've got some of your own please leave them in the comments and we will try them. 